So today I want to do a video that focuses most specifically on the minor pentatonic scales, usually the first scale that most people learn and a lot of people get stuck in it. And that was that was really myself <clears throat> as well, literally about, you know, 20, 20, 20 years, 21 years or so ago. Um, <clears throat> so when a lot of people get stuck with it, what I want to be able to do is start to show them one sort of not different places to play but how could they could basically start to phrase with it and start to really sort of utilize the scale not just use the scale but utilize how can you get it to be a resource and an asset for you and anybody who's seen my videos right i'll go over this sort of very briefly but um knowing the names of the notes before you play them is the real secret sauce to everything I'm about to do and uh, demonstrate <clears throat> and, and, and explain. Um, I'm gonna do C minor. It's a less common key, but when I was thinking about this, it sort of reminded me of Double Trouble and uh, I, I love Eric Clapton's version of that. I should have got my Strat out. It's an Eric Clapton Strat actually, but uh, I felt like uh, playing my SG anyway. Um, so yeah, we're going to do C minor, and I'm going to do it unaccompanied, no backing track or anything. And so timing isn't really going to be as important. And when you first start doing this, it doesn't have to be. Um, and I would say the very first thing to do is, can you play, you know, the blues, it's just a 12 bar blues, but can you play the blues progression <clears throat> with the root notes? When they come in so again c minor not a minor not some of the this is a three flat key signature for anybody um who's aware of their uh, keys and their sharps and their flats and all that so uh yeah let's get started so here's my c <laughs> Accompanied, it sounds a little less resolved. The C is where we want to go. Right now we go to the five chord, right? So I could go here. I could go to the G right below it. Sure, as a bass. In a little blue note walk if I want. Playing the blue scale, now a hexatonic scale. But let's say I stick to the pentatonic scale. Just from single notes, unaccompanied, I'm able to outline the 12 bar blues, okay? Now, if we're even just within that position, the 8th to 11th fret position, if I start to learn, you know, a few notes below, even you can start with this on a single string, but if I start to learn a few notes below and a few notes above, that helps. But let's think about the important notes in this progression, right? So we have... C minor, the chord tones are, actually, probably, we'll do C minor, but C minor 7 is sort of a little bit even more appropriate, and it's sort of, it's sort of nice to the blues, but if we just do C minor, yeah, okay, we'll do that. C minor, C, E flat, G are the chord tones for that. F minor, we have F, A flat, C, and then we have G major, right? I mean, we could even do G minor, like... It's usually a dominant seven though, so the the chord would then be G7, G, B, D, F, all natural notes on that. All right, so C, E flat, G, F, A flat, C, G, B, D, F for the G7 chord, okay? So if I think chord tones, sure, um, I could find those notes in a lot of different places, right? And I'll, if I start honing in the, on the chord tones, that's going to be fine. But if I only know the pentatonic scale, mainly by a finger pattern, something like that, the first step to um, 
exposing, like I always teach soloing on a single string anyway when I first start working with students, but just to start incorporating this, this type of thought into it. Like let's locate the C, let's locate the F, and then instead, of, I mean, we can do the G here, we can certainly do it, but if we want to get out a little bit, let's see the connection that F is what's called a whole step away from G. So we pass over the F sharp, which is the blue note, that'll give us the very bluesy sound too. Right, so I start to get that, right? So I'm, I'm gonna go for the G that slides up. All right, so let's say I'm on, I'm on my C minor. Let's start here. Now I'll slide it to the E flat, right? So instead of thinking one and three, or the C and the E flat, uh, this way, just in the vertical, taking C, finding it on the higher string, ends up being on the fifth fret there. So C and E flat. Then I have my F and my G. And that, that actually will cover uh, all my chord tones for, uh, well, not all of the chord tones, but it will cover all the chords in this 12 bar blues. So. to the C here, sure thing, right? So I actually didn't even mean to pitch harmonic. <laughs> I use a, a, a little Jazz 3 carbon fiber thing now, so it's uh, easy to get in there. But, but instead of the sliding back, let's stay in the position, and let's sort of use our pentatonic scale. do a little fancy thing, you know? So if I'm here, like, so let's say I only know my pentatonic, sounds great over the one chord, that one I pinched. There's my four chord. And now the G, so let me slide it. Right now, this isn't part of the pentatonic scale. I mean, you know, I played the blue note. I'm playing the B natural, which is not part of the C minor pentatonic scale, right? But this is what's actually starting to turn my pentatonic scale, right? These little note adjustments that I'm making. So I'm, I'm sort of throwing out, uh, or I'm shifting my perspective on um, <clears throat> that those five notes will give me the experience that I want. And I'm now shifting the perspective over towards when a certain chord comes up, if I actually play the note in the chord anywhere, it's actually gonna sound really nice and really good. So we can even on a company, it's really sounding very bluesy, it's sounding like the sounds Right, of a minor blues in C minor. So right now if I bend, bending the F is great in blues, or I should say in C minor blues, because you're gonna if you bend a little, you're gonna get the blue note. You know. And if you bend a lot, you'll get the five. Point being, when you take accountability for actually knowing the notes you're playing in your chromatic scale, or sorry, not chromatic scale, pentatonic scale, and you actually put it together that way, you can do what you want. So if you want my help with that, please feel free to send me a message. Thanks.